Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. And today we're going to do a video review of Hyper Fate Collection, Fate Stay Night Saber. Alright, I don't know too much about the anime, let's face it. I'm not a huge anime fan except from the 80s and 90s. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. I like the figure, I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, the box kind of, if you want to read this, uh, yeah. It's a pretty nondescript box, it says Saber on the top. I like this uh, symbolism here. Here's the side of the box, and it actually pulls out. The uh, the figure actually pulls out. I had to pull it out. There's that nice little, uh, whatever, mystical figure. So, the box is what it is. Ah, here we go. It also has this weird human or real realist, uh, realistic head that really trips me out. But the figure itself isn't too bad. It's not as articulated as a lot of like the Revil Tech Figma figures. So, you, you're gonna have to take it with a grain of salt. The figure does look nice. Stands out really nice. It, uh, I don't know if it, the armor feet, it's it just very stable. It's one of the more stable figures I've ever seen from, this actually comes from Type Moon. I'll show you in the bottom of the box here. Uh, EB Craft Type Moon. Don't know what that is. So yeah, that's who makes this. It's, it's a little different. It's not uh, your usual collection of uh, people that make that. So Figma's Revolt Tech. SH figure arts. No, it, it's a big figure too. It's about seven inches. Uh, detail is pretty good. The coloring is really good. I just wish it was more articulated. I like the bow here. It, and one of the things is the neck is does swivel. It's on a ball joint, but no head swivel or it swivels, but only on the neck. And it pops out really good, which is good because now I can pop off this human face a realistic face which I really do not like. I, I, rather, I rather prefer the anime face. It, it, it looks weird to me. It looks real. You know, I, I like the anime face. So that's what it comes with. It does, sorry, so that's easy. Just pop it off. So you can see it's on a ball joint. Yeah, and these are really sharp so it's really good attention to detail. Definitely not for kids. Uh, it does have a knee joint here. Let me set this down and show you the extras it comes with. Of course the little human head that uh, is all right. And I mean, also has another gauntlet. So that's another, for some odd reason, you got two right fists. Because the left fist won't open. You come with this sword, really neat. And I can't, I can't, I don't know if you can tell the detail on it, but it does say something. Yeah, nice little sword. Same thing with this one. Good looking detail. I, I really, really like the detail on that one. Uh, it does unsheath and beautiful, beautiful detail. I think I could make the hiragana on that, but very nice detail on the swords. Okay, like I said, she has two right arms. As you can see, it's ball jointed, and they just pop off. And I would assume they do. Yeah, they do pop off. Now, hopefully, there we go. So I don't know why you want to use this one. It's just open, but they just pop on. But I prefer this one because this one you can grab the sword. It's made for grabbing swords. As far as articulation, and I lobbed her head off, I, the ball joint there is kind of loose. So you might need a little bit of finger polish to hold it on. Uh, very limited in the way of articulation. You got your shoulder. Uh, moves 360. I believe it's in a ball joint, but it's hindered by his little poofiness there. I think the bicep swivel. The joint on the elbow, it swivels too, and it does have a single joint. You can tell the joint right there swivels. Hinge joint, rather. Ball jointed fist, but it barely moves. Oh, so cool. She can hold it on both left and right. I think she has a torso, but it's hard to move. It's supposed to. It's more like a display piece. I love the skirt pieces. The detail on it is just fantastic, but it's definitely more of a display piece. Really sharp protrusion on the skirts. Uh, the feet itself, or legs, as you can see, that you can move it a little bit. They're on a ball joint. I don't think they have a thigh swivel, but it does move a little bit in and out, up and down. So it has movement. Movement on the knee, and I love the fact that the little, forgot the greaves or the knee pads, yeah, it doesn't restrict that. And there is a ball joint, or sorry, it is ball jointed on the ankle. So it does have decent movement for what it is. It's seven inches. It looks good. Uh, you know, it holds the weapons really well. There's no doubt about that. So if you wanted to hold her weapons, 
Yeah, no doubt. It's not a bad looking figure. Not a bad looking figure. So it stands up really well because of its big, huge feet. Well, not big, huge, but normal size. Not like the petite little feet that they usually give to a little Revo Tech guys like Nanael here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, just for a size comparison, she is towering over Nanael. I mean, that's a normal Revo Tech size right there, 5 inches. She's like 7 inches right there. Let me put it with 7-inch figure here. Yeah. Uh, what can I say? Yeah, it would If it would be articulated more, it would have been beautiful. But not bad. Not bad for what it is. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. That's all I got, YouTubers. And I'll catch you all next time.